Hey everyone, welcome back. So it is finally, finally Hobonichi Cousin setup time. So I am going to be using the Hobonichi Cousin again this year. I fell in love with it in the latter half of 2022 and I'm here for it again because I just love like an all-in-one type of system. Now that being said, this isn't going to be the only planner that I use, so stay tuned for my 2023 planner stack video coming next week. All right, so I grabbed like literally all the things that I may end up putting <laughs> in this book. I'm just, I'm really excited to set it up, but I'm not going to lie. I've had some time, especially last night, like what do I want to put on the cover? What do I want to put on this page? And I just found myself in an overthinking hot mess. So we'll, we'll see how it all turns out. So really quickly, if you are not familiar with the Hobonichi Cousin, it is, it's a life book. That's literally what they call it. Um, you can get it in two versions. Well, technically three if you count the Avec, which is split into two six month books, but you can also get a spring start or a calendar start. This year, I believe is the first year that they are offering the English edition. So that's what I got at launch time. So it does include your annual calendar, a sort of annual tracker page, and then all of your month views and then all of your weekly views and then every single day of the year. So that's pretty cool. So as you can see, because I was someone who did not realize that this planner had a December layout and luckily I had some extra, um, the Coffee Monsters Co. monthly kits because again, I lost track of what stickers I had and ordered December twice. It was just meant to be. Um, I went ahead and planned what I had in December in my current Hobonichi Cousin I just planned it over here. And then again with the weekly view, I was like, oh crap. <laughs> this week is actually in the new cousin. So I went ahead and I set up this week as well with a really cute New Year's kit from the Coffee Monsters Co. as well. Um, I did want to show you some of the other pages that I have already sort of pre set up. I got this idea from my friend Cynthia over at Cynthia Plans. Um, to do like a 2022 year in review. And I did this at the sort of new year page um, in the Hobonichi Cousin. It'll say it's just after the last uh, weekly view that you get in here. Um, and it'll say turning the page to a new year. And you get these two grid pages before you go over to the January page. And then you start with your January daily pages. So she got these prompts, I believe she said from Pinterest. She does have this post over on her feed. So definitely go over there and check it out. I haven't actually filled in all of them. I think there's like three of them that I haven't answered, but I just thought that this was so friggin' cute. And of course I added some Coffee Monsters Co. Uh, stickers to that. Then I saw a really, really cool post from Nedra Tawab. I hope I'm saying her name properly. She's an amazing author. She posted this on Instagram. It was intentions for 2023. So I wanted that to be my January uh, page. Really, really love this. And then I've been kind of just making sure that if I get something from obviously another source, it says where I got it from at the bottom of the page. That way if someone asks, or if I post it on the interwebs, people will know that I, where I got it from. So that's what I have done so far. Okay. Let's start with the outside. <laughs> of this book. So I am going to be putting a clear cover on here. I believe this is the Hobonichi cover that I ordered from Jet Pens. Um, the only exception is that this year in my current Hobonichi cousin, I was using one from, I believe it's I'm trying to remember the shop name. It's like nowhere on this cover. I think it's Sweet caress, something along those lines. I will find out and put it in the comments below, but um, or in the description below. But um, I do like this one. It's much thicker than the Hobonichi one, which I prefer. But this year I actually want to put like stickers on my book. Um, so that's something to consider for me. So just to kind of give you an idea too, this is what the book looks like after just a few months of use versus 
is a brand new book. Um, I do love it. I love it so much and I can't wait to be in it for a full a full year because this book has truly like just, it's given me a lot more freedom than I ever thought um, I was gonna get out of it. So here's my thoughts for the front. And I wish that I was recording this live so that you guys could just vote for me. I really do want like a very neutral vibe. I think similar to what Helen um, from the Coffee Monsters Co. either did this current year or last year. I've watched so many of her videos that I'm just like, I don't know what video I last watched with this information. But you guys know I love coffee. I love tea. I love like neutral colors. And I was thinking of putting these on the cover or just kind of going with something a little bit more, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about either. That's the problem. <laughs> so this is where I'm kind of just pretty undecided with what I want to do here. I do know that for the tabs, and this is exactly why I have delayed posting this video, by the way, I have like so much decision fatigue over the setup of this. Um, Cause in that I'm just like, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but I did decide that I was going to use Coffee Monsters Co. tabs in my planner this year because I am obsessed with them and I think that they are so freaking cute. Okay, so now that I've had some time to think about it, I do think that this is the route I'm gonna go with these. This sticker, the Self Love Club, is from Planner Monkey Co. This one is just from a random shop on Etsy. I just kind of liked the entire vibe of it. I also like that this adds a little bit more color to the cover without going too overboard and it would still look okay with like a cover like this, for instance. This is from Aura Estelle, by the way. Her covers are amazing. So let's just go ahead and rip the band-aid off <laughs> as I keep trying to delay um, putting anything on this planner that is even somewhat permanent. Let's be real though, nothing is actually permanent because there's this little thing called undo out there on the market that you can get at Michael's or on Amazon. And now I'm not gonna be able to get this sticker off of the backing. Hold please. Oh, and this one's transparent. That is super cool. I was not prepared for that. So let's just put that right about here. And then, oh, I like that already. That is very cool. I just don't want any of the bubbles to show. So there's that one. And then I really liked this one. As soon as I saw it, I was like, this is going on my planner. There's also this coffee one here that I love, but I'll decide if I'm gonna add more throughout the year. I just I haven't completely decided. I also have commitment issues with my I'd rather be watching Grey's Anatomy sticker. Um, I've had that sticker now for two years and can't figure out where the hell I'm going to put it. So this one is just gonna go right here. That'll work. Slightly crooked, but it's fine. There we go. There's the cover for 2023. Let's go ahead and put this cover on. I think last year I pretty much had to bend my Hobonichi cousin backwards to make this work in the easiest way possible. All right, there we go. Um, now you kind of gotta like bend it back and forth to get it to like get in the cover like the way that it should be. But now I feel like my book is nice and protected. I don't always keep my Hobonichi cousin in one of these covers. I just don't. There's moments where I'm like, I need this cover. And then there's others where like, this is getting on my nerves and I just want it in a clear cover. So, over here on this very first page, what I want to do is put my vision board. So this is kind of a shrunken down version of what's going to go in my Moxie Life. I printed it on vellum um, for the sole purpose of mainly reducing bulk. And I did create this over on Canva. Um, in my Moxie Life, though, I actually cut everything up and separated it just because the book is a little bit bigger and the vision board page is two pages. So I'm just going to use my Tombow um, adhesive. This is a removable adhesive, which I kind of prefer. Um, just in case, you know, if you have the inability to make a decision like I do, then... <laughs> Removable or repositionable adhesive is the way to go. Oh, and I think some of my ink is smudging. I don't have a laser printer, which I think is what you're supposed to use when you are printing on 
vellum. So I have to wait extra time for mine to dry. And I'll be real, I printed this about an hour ago. And yeah, I think it needed more time to dry, but that's fine. And I'm trying to figure out, do I want it this way? Do I want it that way? <laughs> Let's do this way. I don't know why that matters. And I probably could have changed the orientation of this so that it was the other way. But there we go. All right, vision board is in. We are making progress. <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay, on to the next page. Now this is where I was thinking I could put some of these fun little guys because I do love them and I just think that this is gonna be really fun to add to these pages. I also have this little like name plate thing that came with a C. Amy Draw um, order, but I think I'm gonna save those for something else because she also included this 2023 vinyl. Again, probably saving that for something else. So let me get these down and try not to have a stroke while trying to do it. <laughs> And then I found this one on a separate sheet that she sent with a freebie and it's like the coziest looking emoji ever and I'm just gonna put that right about here. Okay, that page looks super chaotic but I love it, I love it. <laughs> All right, so my plan for this page, even though the 2022 is like absolutely not needed, um, is to probably track paydays and days off kind of thing. So I think what I'm going to do is grab two of my dot markers. So I'm going to grab the gray one and I will signify one for Jesse and one for myself. So I think what we'll do here is like the taupe one for me and then this one for Jesse. Um, and then I kind of wanted to draw out like different symbols like a vacation day, a sick day, that kind of thing, so that will be kind of like our our work schedule. And then the pen that I'm gonna be using, at least for today's video, is the Sarasa Markon in 0.5. And I'll go ahead and add those in um, later on after this video, because I've gotta look at my work calendar and then I've gotta confirm um, Jesse's work calendar. And then I think for the holidays, I'll just kind of circle them, because obviously 2023 is gonna be the main focus. Um, and I'll just kind of circle and underline and use symbols like that to mark things. Now these are pages in the cousin that have always kind of overwhelmed me. Not a thousand percent sure what I'm gonna do with this. I talked about in my week's setup video possibly using these exact pages for health and wellness. I feel like if I do that now though, it would be better suited for the cousin because of the size of the space. So I think that's what I'm gonna do with these pages where um, as much as I don't like tracking my weight, weight is an important part of health for, just for me personally, it's for a lot of my joint health, like things like that. Um, so I think what I may end up doing is putting like a starting weight situation here, um, workouts that I do here, and maybe because these columns are so wide, I could do workouts and my steps maybe possibly and then maybe any highlights across the bottom so that is still like just a thought in progress obviously my month view is going to be just that it's going to be for the month at a glance i love that it's a monday start like that just solves so many problems for me <laughs> i wish all planners would do a monday start and then of course you guys have already seen the weekly view that i've already done um, my weekly view is going to include some work things, but not all work things. It may include some to-do lists, but not my as detailed to-do lists as what I do in my daily pages in the back. So this is a really good example of what my weekly layouts will look like and just kind of how I prefer it. I love stickers. It doesn't need to be overly stickered. There will be weeks where I don't use stickers at all. I feel very comfortable in this planner going completely sticker free, but I love stickers and I obviously love Helen's shop. So there will be a lot of that and a lot of, you know, just other shops that make really amazing uh, weeks layouts. Now I need to go back to the annual page because I realized that I did make a little bit of a mistake. I bought 
these calendars from Coffee Monsters Co, obviously, and I, I want to use them. I want to use them, and so that means this calendar is going to get covered up. <laughs> but I think that I can still use this color coding on here. It's going to be tough on months that are a little bit darker, so we'll see. I'm determined to still use these though, so let's go ahead and jump into that. And honestly, I don't know how anyone does these straight. I'm gonna speed this part up to save you from the torture. <laughs> also, so glad I just quickly realized that I was putting July down, <laughs> not January. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's done and that's completely adorable. Um, I will say this, it's a little bit nerve wracking to put these down, but they're super, super easy. They fit really, really well. Um, again, now I'll have to figure out what I wanna do with this. I may end up just covering it and moving on with my life, um, but that's totally okay because I really don't have any use for this. The next year part, mm, maybe, we'll see. All right, so let's move forward. I talked about how I'm gonna use the weekly and the daily. Next thing is really just putting on the tabs. So I did get, I think it was two different versions of tabs, and what I think I wanna do is use a couple of these, but I want to use them in a way that's um, repositionable. So I have got these white Avery tabs that I got from Amazon a while back. And I like to, like in my current cousin, I have tabs that I just kind of would move around as I went from each month, each week, each day. And they, that's how they would get uh, moved around each time because I don't always have my planner in a cover that has strings to mark which page I'm on. So then I can just pick this up and move it to the next day if I need to. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do with these. So I think I'm gonna take like the daily one here. Let's take this first one off and just put it right over, trying to get it centered, but right over the daily or right over the Avery tab. So that way now I have a reusable daily and I will have a reusable weekly, monthly, and yearly. I just realized there's two dailies on here, so that's kind of cool. And then I could use these other things wherever I needed to. So let me finish these up really quickly. I just didn't see the point in putting them down and having them be stuck in one spot or not being in the spot I need it to be. <laughs> So there's the monthly and then the weekly. Make the other ones tabs just because I will already have them made. So let's just take, I especially love the pencil for notes. You don't get a lot of notes pages. I think the back of the Hobonichi Cousin has like four <laughs> notes pages, but I don't mind marking that off with this. Actually, since it is the notes page, I may end up marking it off. Oh no, my tab got stuck to the sticker sheet. Okay, whoo, crisis averted. All right, and then I know that I wanna do the little glasses one. Did I do a yearly? I didn't do my yearly. That's what I needed to do. So now I've got those ready and I'm just gonna use my writing board here to put all of those off to the side <laughs> so I don't get more confused than I already am. So I do have two options here. I have the white tabs and the ash tabs and I think that I'm just gonna go ahead and use the white tabs. And actually I realized I will need to use both which is what I did in my first Hobonichi Cousin. Um, I have tabbed off the monthly and the daily pages. So for today, I guess we'll do both. <laughs> I guess we can do both. All right, so let's let's get started. 
I always struggle with this part because I'm like, do I put the tab here or do I put the tab here for January? I would assume when you grab January, you want it to open to that page. So I think that's what we're gonna do. All right, so, and I don't know why this situation just makes me so like, oh my God, I'm gonna mess it up. <laughs> And I believe with Helen's tabs, the little shaded part tells you exactly where to put it. I figure if I don't put it in the right spot, I'm gonna know because it's going to look really, really bad. This is going to take me all day. <laughs> all right, let's speed this up for you. Okay, so now all the monthly tabs are on and the reason why I did it like that was to actually make sure that I had spaced things out um, as much as I, as best as I could, I should say. Um, I really would have preferred that it was evenly all the way down, but I would have to go back and remove these and start all over and it's really just not worth it. And what I can do to make it appear even is when I do my weekly pages, um, I can kind of, start from the bottom if that makes sense that way it doesn't look like there's anything missing from the bottom so now I'm just gonna fold these over and she gives you like the most perfect perforation on her stickers so it is so easy I have used other tabs before and the perforation is like not the greatest and they don't fold over evenly it's just kind of a pain but the perforation on hers is cut to perfection um, which I absolutely love. So I can't say enough good things about how, how Helen does things. So, all right, we are almost done. This is like so much easier than I thought it was gonna be. Um, and I'm thankful for that. <laughs> so there, all right. Now I'm like, do I wanna do the weeks or do I wanna do just the months? Cause that's going to be super easy. You really just have to go right along here for the months. So I think I might do that because that's a whole lot of tabs. Do I really want to do three sets of tabs? I don't, I don't think I do. So I think we'll do that. Let's go. And like I said, it's super easy because I, all I'm doing is putting it right, <laughs> right where the, the mark already is. On the, t on the page, which makes life a lot easier. Okay, we are all done with all of the tabs. This is how that looks with just the monthly and the dailies done. So I'm actually quite pleased with that. I actually like it quite a bit. So what I'm gonna do is put my little tabs that I made up here and I'm just gonna mark off the yearly page so that I know exactly where it is. And then we will do the monthly and then do our weekly page which is somewhere in here. <laughs> and then our daily page. And then I'm just gonna mark where the notes page start at the back of this book. All four pages that you get. But I will more than likely use this for swatches and things like that back here. So that is how those top tabs will look. And of course they will move um, as needed. All right guys, so that is it for my Hobonichi cousin set up for 2023. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me while I set up my cousin for the upcoming year. I'm super excited to see honestly just how chunky this book is going to get. I'm so excited. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you are already subscribed, make sure you click that notification bell so that you know when my videos are posted here on YouTube. As always, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.